Amani, th there's something we have to talk about. Let me ask, how steady has your work been lately? My carpentry work has been slow, but we're getting by. Mm. You know, Mombi and I, we sell uh, wood carvings at the market for some extra income. Mm. You know? Wow. Amani. Look at all you've done on our land. You're a good carpenter. You built this house. And you have a beautiful family too. If mom and dad were alive, they would be very proud of you. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking, Amani? With your skill set, you could have more. I'm talking about real security for you and the family. A real government carpentry contract. See. Just look here. This is the amount we can be making. Yes? Yes, for real. All you need to do, Amani, is just... Yeah. No. Not a party card. You know I can't sign this. Wait. You didn't sign me up, did you? I know what you're thinking about, Amani. See, you don't have to involve yourself with the political leaders. You don't even have to attend any of the rallies. You know what? Forget it. I'll take care of this one. Basically, you'll be working for me. So don't worry about the card. All I need you to do is just sign here. And this becomes a reality for us. Amani, you know I love you. And if you become successful, I will be very happy. I have to get back. But just think about it. And think about the family too. Hmm? Oh dear, Amani is being tempted by his brother with the wrong kind of employment. <laughs> So we're watching this year's feature drama, Commit Your Way to Jehovah. And a central part of the plot is that Amani, a Jehovah's Witness, is being enticed into having political connections through his brother, who is part of this political party in a country where there is political and civil unrest. So it's a bit of a powder keg country apparently this we don't know which country it is it's never mentioned but the point is is that there is friction there is violence in this particular part of Africa and Amani ends up having to make a decision between his loyalty to the organization versus his feelings towards his brother and his feelings to please and impress his brother, who wants to form some kind of business partnership with him. Although a massive plot hole has already opened up here. What sort of job is it he's being asked to do again? A real government carpentry contract. See. A real government carpentry contract. <laughs> Because those are a thing. What what do you do for work? Oh, I work for the government. Oh, you work for the government. Wow. So what do you do? Are you a politician? Are you a diplomat? What kind of office do you hold? I'm a government... Um, sorry, I missed that. Say that again. I'm a government carpenter. I do carpentry for the government. So you build things for the government... Out of wood? Yes, that's what I do. It's extremely lucrative for some reason. I'm sorry, how is that even a thing? How did that come up when they were writing the script for this? Okay, so we need the central character, who's a Jehovah's Witness, to overcome some sort of temptation. What could it be? 
<laughs> I know he's a really good carpenter, but he has a brother who's involved politically. <laughs> and his brother needs him to make tables and chairs for the government. <laughs>